So in this video, we're going to talk about the Toyota Tundra's auto LSD function, as well as the video, uh, vehicle stability control and the different modes available in both two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive, because what you're going to learn is a lot of different modes uh, between two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive that we're going to go through. It's a very complicated system. It doesn't need to be, but it is. And we're going to we're going to talk about some of the different features with the auto LSD as opposed to the vehicle stability control, how they all interact with each other, how to turn them on, off, override stuff, all sorts of good stuff we're going to talk about in this video. So I found a solid sheet of ice here. As you can see, it's it's uh, that we're going to uh, run some video on and run through some of the different modes that you can see exactly how they function in both two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive and four-wheel drive low because there's some differences between them all a lot of misconception out there uh, a lot of inaccuracies and so many people are confused as to what the different buttons do and the different modes and the, the little lights that come on, the vehicle stability lights, the slip light, um, and how this, how Toyota has used electronics and the ABS system to try to um, manage their system. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cover your different options in two-wheel drive. Hang on. Okay, before we get started, I'm going to ask uh, if you'd please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below. I'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, let's get started with the two-wheel drive standard function. So right now we're in two-wheel drive and I did not press the auto LSD button yet. And we're, we're on this sheet of ice. So what's going to happen is the engine management system, which is the traction control, is going to limit my throttle. Let me get to a point to where I know I'm gonna be stopped here. Hang on one second. Okay, I'm at a good spot here um, on the ice and I have the truck stopped. We're in standard two-wheel drive mode, no buttons pushed. This is just the, the normal driving mode. As I try to go, two things are occurring. And this is where there's a lot of misconceptions. The Tundra has an open differential, does not have a limited slip differential. So it does not matter as far as engaging the auto LSD, the button does not need to be pushed. Okay, uh, as I'm doing this now, both of my rear tires are spinning an equal amount. Okay, the auto LSD does not need to be pushed for that. And that's where there's a lot of misconception. The other thing that's happening is the engine management system is limiting my throttle. That's the, the vehicle stability control, or I'm sorry, the traction control. So no matter how hard I push this throttle, if you watch the RPMs, they're not even gonna go above a thousand RPMs. Uh, that is the traction control, managing the engine, okay? So I'm going to stop the wheels. The only thing I'm gonna do different now is push the auto LSD button. So now it says auto LSD. That changed one thing. The only thing it changed was that traction control. Now I can get full RPMs. Both wheels spinning. Both rear wheels are spinning. Except now I no longer have that traction control limiting my RPMs. So that is the only real difference with the auto LSD on or off. And that is contrary to what most people think the auto LSD is doing uh, or the auto LSD button so the auto LSD is engaged pretty much all the time uh, or does function all the time if one wheel starts to spin uh, however
pushing the auto LSD button will shut off the traction control and give you full throttle. That is the real difference there with the auto LSD. Uh, there's one other function while we're still in two wheel drive and that's your vehicle stability control. And that is if you're starting to slide, you're actually sliding sideways or your front wheels start to slide. Uh, actually it is your front wheels. Um, the vehicle starts to slide in, in some fashion. So if I were to go up here and, and go around this turn and get the truck a little bit sideways, uh, the vehicle stability control would then kick in. And that's where the uh, anti-lock brake system and whatnot engages and tries to help you correct the slide, okay? Um, if you actually want it to slide around, that system could be very annoying. Um, it's gonna make it hard. So if you press the auto LSD button again and hold it for three to five seconds, I'm gonna do that now. Then you can see two lights lit up. The auto LSD light and the stability control light is vehicle VSC, vehicle stability control, is now off. Okay, so now that st vehicle stability system is no longer active. You just deactivated it, you overrode it. Um, so now you could do whatever you want with that. You can go have some fun. I don't just do whatever you want. Uh, if you want to slide around the snow or you're off-roading or for whatever reason you don't want that stability control engaged, that is how you override the stability control. Um, up here in the Northeast, yeah, we like to play around the snow. We go off-road. You know, we, we, want, we want all this stuff off. Um, so that is how you do that while you're in two-wheel drive. Uh, next, we're going to cover the four-wheel drive options and everything changes just a little bit once once we're in four-wheel drive okay so we're going to switch over to four-wheel drive i left the auto lsd light on momentarily just so you could see what happens as we switch to four-wheel drive i'm going to switch to four-wheel drive now as soon as it engages all right two things happened auto lsd light went off um, that no longer comes into play once you're in four-wheel drive. Forget about it. It's a two-wheel drive feature. It's no longer uh, a feature in four-wheel drive. Uh, and you'll see traction control off came on. So that means there's no longer any um, throttle management once you're in four-wheel drive. Uh, there is still vehicle stability control when you're in four-wheel drive. So if you're driving, a, you know, highway conditions in the snow or whatever, and you start sliding, there is still that uh, vehicle stability control. If you want that off for whatever reason, you're out playing in the snow, you're going to want that off. Uh, you're going to hold the auto LSD button, or it's actually a, a, the VSC off button uh, down here. That's the button I've been pressing. Um, I'm going to press and hold that for three to five seconds. Okay, so now we got the VSC off also. So now we have traction control off, which is default in four-wheel drive, and vehicle stability control is also off. Uh, that pretty much covers the features while you're in four-wheel drive. Okay, now we're going to go to four low. Uh, to switch into four low, you have to be in neutral, foot on the brake. Uh, as I switch to four low, things change again. Now, if you notice, the vehicle stability light came on, okay? Or I should say the vehicle stability light came on, which means the vehicle VSC is now off. That is the only option. There's no longer vehicle stability control in four low. Uh, you're not even going to get the speeds where that would come into play anyway. So just to recap, whether you're in four high or four low, there is no traction control. Traction control is off. Whether you see the traction off or not, let me see. Yeah, so whether you see that displayed or not, see I'm just switching back and forth. 
traction control is off when you're in four-wheel drive. So your throttle won't be managed at all. Um, you, won't, you won't get reduced power. Um, you know, you, you have full power to the wheels, whether if you're in four-wheel drive, high or low, just, just to be clear on that. So the last test we're gonna run is I'm gonna get one tire on the ice, one tire on the asphalt, and we're gonna go back to two-wheel drive, and we're gonna see if there's any difference between the, uh, the two auto LSD features. Okay, so we're set up. We got one tire on ice, one tire on asphalt. As you can see, the auto LSD light is off. So from what people claim, from regardless of what you read out there, they're basically saying you're just running an open diff at this point. You're, gonna, you're going to be stuck without pushing the, the uh, auto LSD feature. That is incorrect. When I hit the gas, you will hear the brake caliper on the right wheel, which is on the ice, engage, which will transfer a little bit of power over to the left wheel and we'll be able to move. Oops, sorry, it was in reverse. Here we go. Okay. I'm sure you heard that. Uh, and that's exactly what happened. As soon as that right wheel started to spin on the ice, it transferred some of the power to the left and actually the, the left tire spun on the asphalt so that we could start moving. Um, that is, now the only thing there was the, uh, the throttle was limited. Um, I jumped on it, but it only, it didn't get up very high RPM wise because the traction control took over the throttle, limited the throttle. Um, once I hit that auto LSD, uh, it, it then turns off, actually turns off the traction control, which gives me full power, but same thing will happen except I have full, full control of the, the, the throttle. Okay. So everything still worked as described, um, or as it's supposed to with the auto LSD, whether the button was on or off. The only difference was the throttle management, which is the traction control. Uh, if you have any questions about this system, if I missed anything or didn't explain it, comment below, I'll try to respond. But hopefully we, we put the final nail in this coffin on all these different modes, on two wheel drive, four wheel drive. A lot of these, uh, a lot of these functions should apply to most of the other Toyota models. Uh, to some degree, maybe with some minor minor differences there, but um, yeah. So any questions, please subscribe to my channel and thank you.